Hi everyone, I'm Karunya Rao and in Ideas for Profit today we discuss the prospects of IT heavyweight Infosys. A never seen before acceleration in technology spends led by digital transformation is presenting unprecedented opportunities for IT companies and the same was reflected in the stellar earnings report of Infosys. Strong broad-based revenue acceleration, operational efficiencies, decent deal win and healthy deal pipeline provided the management with the confidence to up the full-year revenue guidance. However, the red-hot labor market and shortage of skills and high demand suppressed margins, increased attrition and subcontracting costs for the company and they will continue to remain a headwind for margins. While supply-side constraints remain a worry, large brands like Infosys are relatively better placed to attract talent and this is unlikely to come in the way of execution. Therefore, we remain enthused about a strong earnings trajectory and Infosys closing the valuation gap with Bellwether TCS. Given the strong upcycle in technology, the stock remains a hold and add on every correction. Revenue for QRFI 22 stood at 3,782 million dollars, a growth of 4.7% QOQ in reported terms and 4.8% in constant currency, the best Q1 growth in the last 10 years. Thanks to the suppressed base of year over quarter, year on year growth in reported terms came in at 21.2% and constant currency at 16.9%. The growth was broad based with all geographies reporting a sequential growth and strong performance from North America and Europe which contribute 86% of revenue share. All seven industry verticals reported a good sequential growth while key verticals like BFSI, um, retail, life sciences and manufacturing continue to do well. Erst while laggard like a communication segment is making a comeback. The strong execution, robust deal pipeline and revenue visibility have given the management the confidence to revise the full year FY22 revenue guidance upward to 14 to 16% growth in constant currency terms from the earlier figure of 12 to 14%. The share of digital in total revenue grew to 53.9% versus 51.5% in the previous quarter and the same showed a YOY growth of more than 42% in constant currency. Despite the supply challenges related to cost pressure, riding on levers like automation, better offshore makes, higher deployment of freshers and operating leverage, the management is confident of maintaining a margin in the earlier stated band of 22-24%. to 24%. Hiring continues to reflect the optimism on growth with net addition of 8,334 in Q1. Client metrics remain strong with the company adding clients in the $100 million, $10 million and $1 million buckets. The overall share of top 5 and top 10 clients in total revenue improved, indicating better market share gains due to better client mining as well as vendor consolidation. Meanwhile, operating margins declined 80 basis points sequentially despite benefits from currency and record high utilization. The drag on the margin was on account of uh, the tight supply of resources leading to higher subcontracting costs which had a 50 basis points negative impact and other costs pertaining to employee with a negative 80 basis points impact. Infosys is implementing another round of salary hike from July that remains a near-term headwind to margins. In the absence of mega deals, the large deal wins at $2.6 billion looked rather muted and the share of net new deals at 30% was much lower than previous quarters. Given the tight labor market, Infi saw a spike in attrition from 10.9% to 13.9%. Management cited industry-wide supply challenges on account of higher growth as well as higher offshoring that is increasing the demand for local talent. To cater to significant increase in demand, the company incurred additional expenses on subcontracting and subcontracting cost as a percentage of total revenue rose by 130 basis points sequentially. Infosys has clearly stolen the show in the quarter and is fast closing in the erstwhile wide valuation gap with TCS. Infosys is on a growth journey and a higher technology spends coupled with market share gains spell good news for earnings despite the margin pressure from supply related challenges. As of now, the pricing is stable and going forward, pricing uptake could emerge as a tailwind for margins growth. We see a strong highway of growth for the company and recommend adding the stock on every decline.